This is what um, Taibi's been reporting. He, he's talking about how the government used these NGOs, these non-governmental organizations, to do what it wasn't really allowed to do directly. And those NGOs um, funded, in large part, in many situations with taxpayer money, pressured Twitter and the other social media companies to suppress heterodox voices on these issues when it came to COVID in particular. And that's not okay. That's, that's me paying to suppress my own voice. I didn't agree to that. I didn't put anybody in office who agreed to that. And the government's not allowed under the First Amendment to punish speech in that way by, by silencing it because it doesn't like your viewpoint. So this is deeply problematic and it goes well beyond, oh, you're a Russian bot and you're not real and you're trying to interfere with an election. This is, we don't, it, it, Matt Taibbi was pointing out, Stu, they were suppressing even truthful commentary, like people saying how they, how they had negative uh, consequences from the vaccine because they worried that these NGOs who were telling Twitter and others to stifle this conversation, they worried that it would diminish the number of people who would get the vaccines. How is that any of their business? It is not the NGO's business. No, it's not. And, you know, they've they've created this, this term malinformation to be able to cover this stuff, which is stuff that's true, but kind of leads people down the wrong road. And therefore, we shouldn't let them say. Uh, that is a dark, dark road, especially for the government to be involved in. But they are now increasingly using these workarounds where they go to these NGOs and they have... they. It's a great little circle of grift that's going on here. These NGOs are seen as the experts on any given topic, and they are the ones that the media goes to and asks what's going on. And when some uh, dissident voice comes out, even with the with great qualifications, they say uh, something else is going on here. This is important for people to talk about. The media hears that claim if they acknowledge it at all. And then go back to those same NGOs, those same glorified experts, and ask them, wait a minute, is that other person right? They say no. And then that other person becomes a conspiracy theorist and has their life wiped out. You know, mm -hmm. and it's it's funny because, you know, they mentioned all of the money supposedly going to people like Matt Taibbi uh, and, uh, and, and Barry Weiss. I mean, Barry Weiss left the cushiest job in the world because of her standards. She could have been absolutely sitting at the New York Times raking in money till the end of her life if she just stayed with the narrative. And instead, she decided to leave on her own and go out completely on her own and create a completely new uh, enterprise just to be able to talk about the truth. And, you know, in the New York Times, when they bother to cover important stories, they still run ads next to them. They still make me see Ronan Farrow's yeah. reporting behind a paywall. CNN, when they're running important stories on, uh, you know, on, on Donald Trump, when they were raising their ratings on the back of Donald Trump, continue to run their Metamucil ads every 10 seconds while that yeah. was going on. This is the business of journalism. I know these people don't like capitalism all that much, but it is an important part that you're actually able to pay people to help you with this research. That is not a grift. That is not, uh, that is not benefiting off of, of of getting information leaked to you, that's journalism. And at least these people are uncovering things we didn't know, things that are important to the American people and things we need to get to the bottom of because this, this is just one example, but every story going forward, they're learning more and more on how to do this and get around the Constitution, get around these laws, get around the journalistic ethics. We need to stop it before it goes any further. No, I used to joke that if you spend one year working in cable news where you have the TV on all the time, right? You see all the ads, you see all the content, you are convinced you have mesothelioma and you are definitely <laughs> ready to buy gold. <laughs> the, yes. Those two things are a guarantee. They all rely on advertisers to support the product. I, I'm all almost old enough to be to able to check my zip code for um, extra social security and Medicare benefits. Too. <laughs> <laughs> we all get there eventually. It's, it's, it's not a public service. There is a public service element to journalism, but it is not a pure public service. It is for money. No matter what Chris Hayes says over, I've never stuck check the stock price of Comcast, but you check your ratings every night. And why is that? Because you like your paycheck. And you know what happens to your paycheck if the advertisers all pull? It goes away. So nobody's completely altruistic in this game. Not Matt, not Michael. They wouldn't have purported otherwise. And certainly not Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Question. 
What's the secret to great skincare? Here's Mary and her husband from Faith, North Carolina, with the answer. She writes, quote, My husband and I both noticed that our skin is softer and smoother after using GenuCell products faithfully. Our skin looks brighter, our wrinkles look softer and less noticeable, and the bags under my eyes are less visible. So happy. Best of all, they're easy to use and apply even for my husband, end quote. GenuCell's most popular package, that's all their best stuff, has everything for all of your skincare needs. Wrinkles, dark spots, skin redness, sagging jawline, dark circles, even annoying bags and puffiness under your eyes. And with its immediate effects product, you will see results in 12 hours or less, guaranteed, or you'll get your money back. Stop waiting. Try GenuCell's most popular package for 70% off at GenuCell.com. And for a limited time, their new probiotic extract moisturizer is included for visibly clearer and younger looking skin. Free. Go to genucell.com slash mk60, genucell.com slash mk60, and for a limited time, any subscription order includes a free beauty box and free concierge shipping. G-E-N-U-C-E-L dot com slash mk60, that's genucell.com slash mk60. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.